previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Just because some ass pranked a girl's shampoo bottle and her hair fell out, we have to safeguard our toiletries. So, summer camp. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Uh-oh, I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shall I be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? Meanwhile, my guitar gently sleeps. I miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Oh, Lisa, I've left you on the brink of drought. Drink up, I can bring you back. I hold the power over life itself. I 
I admit, this is hilarious, but I shouldn't sink to Victoria's bully level. Whew. I could get lost doing time travel research. Lauren is blowing up my inbox now. This is so insane, it sounds logical. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no- I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Thanks, Victoria. I always wanted to be a Max meme when I grew up, and I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. This picture will capture this crazy historic moment in my life. No smiling. Take your power seriously. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. I could rewind for days and read all of these books. Will I really find any insight into my power? That's the only tourist picture I let them take of- That was a good hockey game, and man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. Fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. Something the Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Whoa, hello zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. This totally reminds me of being a kid in my room. Sorry mom, I can make my bed whenever I want. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks mom. Not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Fine, I won't disturb you. But What's this poster really trying to tell me? No brook here. Rachel looks like she's staring at me. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. The marks of Satan. I sure would like to catch this hall tagger. 
Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. I think I'll be way too scared to go. They live. One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Why, hello again, Alyssa. Damn, that was quick thinking, Max. I'm glad my psychic skills saved you from that toilet paper beatdown. Blackwell has a surplus of assholes. Oh, by the way, Warren said you borrowed his epic film flash drive. I didn't know you were a sci-fi geek like us. What's your favorite? Looper was very cool. Seriously, plays with your mind. I'm still trying to figure it out. You and Warren do know your sci-fi. Be careful, you might make Brooke jealous. I'll just pretend I have no idea what you mean. Could be fun. Thanks for the warning. Kate is not good. I wish David would get off her crack, as Chloe would say. Oh, uh, hey Kate. Sorry about yesterday. Yeah, I'm sorry you didn't do anything to help. But you're just like everybody else here. It's not true. I wanted to help, but, but. Whatever, it's done. By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck! I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, 
Let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Otter power? I'm so not there. I'm good to flow, thanks. Water is almost as good as a cup of strong tea when I'm in sleepy mode. Hello, water! Sorry. I forgot. Oh, oops. I forgot about the water pressure. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. There's Brooke, looking smarter than everybody. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Go, Miss Grant. Not sure if I will, though. I'm a loser. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Welcome to Black Hill. Go away! People sleeping! Clearly not a morning person. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who... Man, people here are merciless. Chloe is so determined to find you, Rachel. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. This is both sad and pathetic. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Hmm. 
Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Curiosity killed the Max. Who will survive and what will be left of them? That would be fun to put skull like I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. Rollerblades! Oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just putting them on. Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. Whatever they're watching must be hot stuff. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max, did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Ugh, hope they don't get busted. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? After I find Kate's book. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. No book here. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. We better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. This is such a wise, wistful book. I have to read way more Bradbury. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Ta-da! I do love a clean room. Very zen. Except for that bullshit graffiti. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. This is so insane. It's this warm. I would say thanks, and I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Victoria, of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Oh shit, Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. 
Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. If I'm not already. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Excuse me, I'm texting Zach. Let's talk later, Max. Kate, you in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until late. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Um, uh, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why didn't you do anything? when David harassed me yesterday. I'm sorry, I, I was scared. I can be pretty gutless. I don't expect you to get in trouble for me. I just feel like nobody cares. Kate, I actually do care. So what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Did you party with them? I went to a Vortex Club party against my better judgment. Not my scene at all. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. That's awful. So, how did that happen? It's a long story. I'm still trying to sort it all out. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. 
Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. How sick were you? Sick enough to need a doctor. I thought I was dying, Max. So Nathan didn't take you to the ER? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. <laughs>